Sun born in South Africa, sun born in Africa, wherever you are, may the Lord bless you. The time has come once again so that we can communicate. We need to communicate to keep ourselves alive and also to remind ourselves of the great things that God has done before and that God is still going to do in our lives and in our nation. When the president was announcing about this, the, the, the lockdown, uh, legislations and uh, also restrictions and all that, the things that he was going to do, I saw that he was really carrying something very, very heavy, you know, on his shoulders and I'm not quite sure what was happening in his mind. But in my mind, I was transported back to the time when he entered the parliament. You know, he amazed us uh, because he read in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, where the Bible says, the hand of the Lord is upon me and he brought me out by his spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me back forth amongst them and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley. Bones that were very dry. He asked me, son of man, can these bones live again? And I said, O oh, sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And this is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and uh, you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. We all know that as we read the scripture, the Bible says, now he began to prophesy and a great army arose in that valley. We see Ezekiel here being transported into a valley of dry bones. It's a scary picture. It's a picture of the valley of the dead. People are dead. Little did we know that really this was prophetic. And he visited us in our church uh, Passover convention. And we, we presented him with this scripture again, just reminding him that he must put this in mind. But one thing that is uh, coming into my mind as I think about this again, because the Bible says the steps of righteous men are ordered by God. We begin to trace back and see what is it that God has been saying about this man and about South Africa. And so the Lord gave a prophetic word in that meeting to me. And I said to him, we are going to have the most difficult time that any president in South Africa has ever had. God has given you the grace and the anointing of Ezekiel that you should bring hope. Son of man, can these dry bones live again? Indeed, they are going to live again. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. When we are praying for you, we felt in our hearts that you are going to have the toughest time that any president has ever had. But the Spirit of God will take you through. It's amazing. As I look back, God still speaks today. And, um, and uh, at that moment in time, things were coming right. I've met so many politicians who say to me, Pastor, what was wrong with you? Why did you say, you know, things were going to be bad? Because everything was okay when the president took over. The Lord who sees far beyond what we can see, he already saw the chain of his men. But listen to this. When God said that, he said, God will see him. It was just about him, but not about him. It is about the whole country. So look, connect that with Ezekiel chapter 37. The valley of the dry bones, can these dry bones live again? In other words, there is no hope. There is no, there is no, there is nothing that can say you can put these things together. So I want to encourage everybody in the country and say we are prophesying on the dry bones in South Africa. We say life come back again. We're going to pick things up again. Then the Bible says, he prophesied and said, dry bones live again. It's a scary picture of dry bones dead. You know, all the bones are scattered all over this, boy, this valley. But all of a sudden, as he prophesied, then the dry bones began to find their way together. 
things began to connect together. They began to meet together and sinews came back. Flesh came to back, came back. And a great giant arose from the valley. There's a great giant that's going to rise out of this. Of course, it was thinking, I'm sure. If it was not, the ponds were so dry that there was no reason, nobody in his sober mind could say this thing was going to come back again. The economy is going to be resurrected again, restored. Families are going to be restored. You know, um, um, the churches are going to be restored back. Because if you check it very, very carefully, it was about Israel, a picture of the church. You know, the state of Israel at that time, they had lost, they were, they were, they, they had lost the temple. They were no longer fellowshipping in the temple. The temple had been taken away. They had lost their, their king. There was no king amongst them. They had lost everything. They had lost their identity. Doesn't it look the same like what is happening today? The church is no longer meeting in places. It's not meeting in that particular places. There is a loss of hope. It's like the bones are dry. But we prophesy dry bones live again. It's, it, it sounds insane. It sounds like but that's the power of the word of God. The word of God is able to be spoken where there is no life. You remember how God created the heaven, the earth in particular, in the book of Genesis. Because the Bible says, you know, the earth was formulate and desolate and the Lord began to speak the word of God. He said, let there be. So that's the power of the church. We are saying, let there be. Israel, church of Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, South Africa, we are prophesying we are going to again connect sinews upon sinews. May the Lord bless you wherever you are. I'm just speaking the message that is coming into my heart that God is going to reconnect us again. Let us just stay for this for this, uh, uh, how many days? It's just uh, uh, 21 days. Let us stay and at that time let's not keep quiet. Let's prophesy. Let's prophesy over economy. Prophesy over health. Prophesy over the health system, prophesy over the president, prophesy over the politics of our country, prophesy the dry bones will come again. And the Bible says, you know, the spirit, of, the spirit came upon these bones. The wind began to shake everything around. The Holy Spirit is going to come again. I'm reminded of a song. The Holy Spirit must come down. South Africa will be saved. The Holy Spirit must come down and Africa will be saved. The Holy Spirit must come down. The whole world must be saved. Wozamoya, wozamoya, oh, mwele, wesha umoya, afuga matambi, apila shangana, a big amen. And the man who fell to the grave, who fell to the valley, is going to rise. God bless you. Don't lose heart. Be courageous. I'm prophesying over Africa. I'm prophesying over South Africa. I'm prophesying over your home, wherever you are. 